last time we did the wheat berry. So without grinder, you can use the wheat. And then this time we took, uh, we, take, uh, we talk about wheat in a flower form. I know you folks are familiar with wheat flour, flour, anything flour, yeah? You folks know how to do it. So if ever we have another wheat class, will be gluten. I don't know if you folks are familiar with gluten. Anybody know? Gluten is a meat substitute that you don't eat meat, but you can eat uh, gluten. The monks, the Buddhist people, they use that a lot in their daily meals. But we also are aware that people will have gluten problem. You're allergic to gluten. So if people, they prefer to have a gluten-free class, maybe we can look into it. We have all these chefs over there to help us. In the Kahuku, there's also a uh, gluten-free bakery. Yeah. OK. Now, I encourage you folks to store wheat other than rice. If you're not used to wheat, of course, you may not want to store it, but at least to a, a small amount, because wheat will hold you, will sustain you. The rice, if you eat only white rice, it doesn't hold long, and it doesn't sustain you. It doesn't have a lot of uh, nutrition. So the whole wheat, wheat flour, is have 100% the bran and the germ. So tonight, at the end of the class, you can go there hands-on, try it yourself, how to grind the wheat. We probably had to move over here because we don't have the, or oh, we had the extension. And I really encourage you to, when you buy a bread, you have to look what is on the label. Usually the most important one is to put in the first place. Then it go down to the order. So if they say um, ground whole wheat, do you know what is this? It's also the same thing, but they call it ground wheat because they ground it. So it has to come different names. <clears throat> um, sometimes they call the gram, gram uh, flour or a stone ground wheat flour. So it's the same thing. 100% of wheat germ and the bran, that means they totally using the whole kernel, okay? Now, the next one from the wheat is the wheat gluten. That's the one that you make gluten, or are you using the high gluten flour to make gluten, and then you use it as meat. I always tell the people about this story that I make gluten and barbecue, teriyaki sauce. When I gave the workshop, many moons ago. <laughs> this um, young uh, teenage kids, they come into my room, they want to eat this. I said, this is not meat. It looked like meat, but it's not. They eat and they go out there and they come back to get some more. So it amazed me that young, young people will eat that. Maybe they don't understand what, they, what they're eating, but they think that is meat. <laughs> okay. Um, Sometimes when we use wheat flour, we mix with the other flours, just like the um, oaks. You can make the, put the oaks inside there, you can make the wheat flour. This is not only just for grinding wheat. For grinding a lot of like beans, you can make flour, rice, you can make it. But you don't put in any seeds there that are oily because you're going to ruin their motor. So you've got to be careful what you want to uh, blend. Okay. Now, I think that we all come uh, familiar with the all-purpose flour, right? That's the one we use most of the, in the home, to everything, even make bread. But the bread, yes, can come out okay, but there are some better in making bread and some are not. And if you use this, I would suggest you to use organic. Of course, organic is like three, four times higher. Um, usually, all-purpose fl all flour is a refined Flour. They take out all these things. They take out um, the nutrition. So they only have about 8 to 12 percent uh, wheat inside there. And sometimes they are bleached and sometimes they are unbleached. So you have to know what is bleached, what is unbleached, what is in there. Now, when they make the all purpose, fl all -purpose flour, they will use 
the hard wheat as well as the soft wheat to mix together. The soft wheat is mostly like a white wheat, and then the hard wheat is a red wheat. Okay, anybody familiar with the bread flour? Yeah. If you make bread flour and make bread, it's really wonderful. It melts in your mouth. Especially when I make the, you know, the dinner rolls. Now, uh, for bread flour, the protein level is 12 to 14 percent. Now, um, this refined flour is enriched with vitamin and iron, and also sometimes that they bridge or unbridge. Bread flour usually is making the raised bread, pizza crust, and specialty, uh, specialty baked goods. Anybody use cake flour? Well, cake flour is just like that. You use for making cakes. They make wonderful cakes. Cake flour is only have six to eight percent protein. It's a highly processed flour. Will make the tenderest cakes, cookies, biscuits, and yeast breads. Uh, most of the time, that this flour is uh, coronated bridge to give it a white appealing, you know appearance, and then um, it will hold a cake a lot better because they had a high ratio of sugar and fat. Anybody use pastry flour? We love to eat pastry, right? <laughs> so that is similar to like cake flour, but generally it's higher in protein, and they are not um, coronated, okay? Sometimes you can find it in a bridge on a bridge. Anybody knows about this self-rising flour? Um, well, according to the, this here, say that actually you don't have to buy rice um, self-rising flour. Because if you use the all-purpose flour, you add one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and then half teaspoon of salt into one cup of flour, you already become the self-rising flour. So don't buy this, because when you have this kind of, they pay more, yeah? So, but then you have to realize that if you buy this one and you don't use it right away or store for a long time, the baking powder becomes flat, then you cannot have the same effect as self-rising. So do it when you want to make it, and then you mix together. That's probably the best way. Now, instant flour is the one that you mix sauce, it's a high, a low protein flour, but you mix sauce and gravy and batters. Other than that, we hear about enriched flour. What does that mean? I can stand in front of the aisle and look at all the different flour and say, what is all these things, you know? <laughs> um, the United States laws require that the refined flours have their bran and germ portions removed, so that you call it enriched. How do they do that? They put back a portion of niacin, thiamine, riboflavin, uh, folic acid, and iron, and all the things that was lost, they put it back in there in different form. And then they also add uh, vitamin A and D. So you have to read the labels before you buy flour. If you buy a wrong kind of flour, you go home cook, may not have the same effect. Now breaching, because you know, like the red wheat is kind of red, it doesn't look appealing, so they bleach it so they become white. I guess white is more appealing. White rice, you know, not brown rice. Yeah? <laughs> and some of the flour is uh, bromated. I don't know too much about that one. Can you help me? Anything? Um, yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, they're using the potassium bromate to lighten the color and then improve the qualities of the gluten. For the bread to rise, you have to have gluten. If you don't have gluten, it doesn't rise like that. So you have to be careful. Sometimes, you know how people, they make bread, they put uh, vitamin C inside? Yeah, there is uh, ascorbic acid. That is like a dough conditioner. And then you also can, um, one, tea, one eighth of a teaspoon vitamin C per cup of flour. Um, 
So you put vitamin C in your bread, and when your kids eat it, you know, they get vitamin C too, yeah? Now, pre-shifted flour. Anybody buying that? Well, <coughs> flour is shifted before they send to the market. They, sh uh, they shift it at the meal, and then it was packaging. But during, um, you know, transport them, they kind of settle on the bottom. So that means when you use it, you had to re reshift it again. So why buy it, <laughs> right? So you have to know what you're getting. Now, how do you store flour? Yeah, you can put it in a, yeah, you can put it in a jar airtight. But how long you can store it? Six months, the most is one year in the room temperature. It's not like stay away from the sun, the heat, yeah? Uh, okay. You also can put that in, uh, if you buy the regular flour, you can put it inside the freezer. That will last for several years. But do you want your freezer to keep all the flour <laughs> inside of me? <laughs> okay, so we recommend you to grind the flour when you need them. Don't grind a whole bunch of wheat flour or whatever flour, and then you just sit over there because the nutrition will be losing in a way that is not what you want intended to be. The last thing I want to tell you about the flour, um, I make the blueberry muffin from this flour as well as apple cake and also mango bread from this flour. They are expensive, $8 something a package in Tambura. But you are what you eat. If you're willing to pay for the price instead of going pay the doctor, okay? We're gonna get it one end or the other, right? So you had to think twice. But I bought this from, from uh, Chef Song of Waihata. That was Waihata before. If you make yeast bread, tonight we have some that have to use yeast, and most of the other things that you don't have to use, it's just quick bread. This is the best one. You can put it in the freezer for, I have a, for several years, for five years, and it's still good. I don't want to go over there to any store, buy those little package. They, they don't rise. And then I also bought from uh, Costco the All Star or something. Price. That one is not as good as this one. This one, I guarantee it comes out if you put the right temperature. <laughs> so how do you know if the temperature is right, not too hot to kill the yeast? You know when you bathe a baby, you put your elbow inside to test how warm that is? You don't want to burn a baby, and that's the temperature that you put. You don't want to put too cold, you don't want to put too hot. So then that's the one that you uh, added to yeast. Before, you can tell my husband to testify, I can make bread that you throw on the ground, it doesn't break. 